We feel we're very fortunate to have people who have willingly given of themselves, truly compassionate people who came from everywhere to help us. Says Harris Miller, KB5BFK, a local ham operator and electronic technician. Getting light views on the 12 feet of water right now. And they were high and dry. They had no water whatsoever. Because they didn't know. They didn't know. No one knew. They didn't even know the levee had breached. So after the levee had breached, the levee breached at 8.30 that morning. At 5.30 that afternoon, they still had no idea that the levee had breached. That's how much information was not being communicated. Tell me, when we need you, we'll call you. But when you need the hams, you can't call them, because that's why you need them. <laughs> we didn't even have a cell phone. Exa oh, no, the cell phones were gone. The cell phones went before Katrina because they were saturated. It's still around. When he's through it. You just press the button. You can read CW when you can't read it. What happened was the, the government communication failed. All the fancy trunking, all the links, all of that stuff failed because everything went underwater. And our UHF repeater, we were still on. The thing is, is that if it blows the antennas and the, and the cables off the towers, no matter what frequency you're using, you've got a problem. When people get in, in a state where they can't talk, Society begins to crumble real fast. I think the general public gets an idea that we are like CB people that are that was designed to communicate at a local level. We were designed by the federal government to be an auxiliary for them in the event of power failures, where they could come in and they would know that. We have ham radio equipment available, and they could then take over the station and use it for communication purposes. They would come in with their portable generators and hook it into our equipment, because our equipment actually works on DC. It, it's, you know, we have AC coming in, but it's converted to DC. And with their generators, they could then use our equipment to 
do their job. 